As long as people have owned property, they've looked for ways to keep it secure. The idea of a lock and key dates back to the earliest civilizations, and the history of invention is littered with countless failed designs. The most widely used lock today is the pin and tumbler lock, invented by Linus Yale Sr. and his son, Linus Yale Jr. In 1848, the senior Yale patented the basic premise, but later, in 1861, Linus Jr. refined his father's invention into the enduring design that we still use today. The pin tumbler lock gets its name from the pins that line the keyway. They're split in various locations, and springs hold them in place. When the right key is inserted, the pins align to put the split exactly between the plug in the center and the shell around the outside. When everything lines up, the plug can turn. I'm building this lock out of acrylic so we can see the inner workings. It also comes in a variety of useful shapes and can be worked with common tools. The plug is a bit too large for the shell. To get it down to size, I find the center of the plug, and then drill a hole for the circular key. I thread a bolt through the middle, and use a drill to quickly and evenly sand it to size. When it fits smoothly, I restore the polish using successively finer grain sandpaper, and finish with plastic polish and a non-abrasive cloth. I drill the holes for the pins through the case and the shell at the same time to make sure they're aligned with each other. After they're drilled, it's time for more polishing. Cutting a groove in a cylindrical key is more complicated than modern flat keys, but a narrow grinding wheel and a rotary tool makes it go quickly. Next, I cut the pins that ride along the key. I round the end next to the key so it will easily slide into its groove. Each pin should be flush with the plug when the correct key is inserted. The wrong key will misalign them and keep the plug from turning. Pin chambers hold the other half of the pins and springs to push them against the key. I make them from smaller tubes that are shaped to match the curve of the shell and attached with acrylic glue. The springs are salvaged from retractable pins, and each pin assembly is held in place with small screws. Finally, I cut a faceplate, flame polish the edges, and glue it to the rest of the lock. Fully assembled, we can see if it works. When I use an incorrect key, the pins fail to line up on the shear line, and the plug won't rotate. Using the correct key aligns the pins, the bottom half in the pin chamber, the top half in the plug, and the lock rotates. No lock is foolproof, but many other lock designs have come and gone since 1861. Meanwhile, the pin tumbler lock has been consistently popular, remaining nearly unchanged for more than 150 years. I'm Steve Hofer, for Make Inventions.